From the classic indulgence of mozzarella and tomato to the innovative splashes of truffles and prosciutto, there's one variant that's become the ultimate subject of disagreement. It's the pizza that dared to cross the line, that dared to defy the norm and challenge traditional Italian cooking. Oh yes, we're talking about the famous pineapple pizza. Pineapples do not belong on pizza. From the moment it was conceived, it sparked a divide among pizza lovers worldwide. The enigma that leaves tongues tingling in delight for some and has others reeling in disgust. No, pineapple belongs in a salad or a fruit bowl, not on a pizza. But where did it all begin? How did this tropical fruit find its way onto a cheesy pizza giving birth to the contentious Hawaiian pizza? What if I tell you it all started in a cold and snowing country? Not so Hawaiian, right? The nation is divided about Hawaiian pizza. Should pineapple be on the pizza? With its growing popularity, pineapple pizza found itself at the center of a storm of controversy. Traditionalists and purists vehemently opposed the idea of adding fruit to a pizza, considering it a violation of the sacred pizza code. They argued that pizza should be reserved for traditional Italian toppings like tomatoes, cheese, and cured meats. The debate over pineapple on pizza intensified as the phenomenon reached international shores. It's now one of the most common pizza toppings. The divisive nature of this topping became particularly evident in online forums, social media platforms, and even celebrity interviews, where opinions clashed fiercely. Memes and jokes began to circulate, further fueling the pineapple pizza controversy. Amidst the heated debates, a strong group of pineapple pizza enthusiasts emerged, defending their beloved creation. They embraced the unique balance of flavors that pineapple brought to the pizza, arguing that it offered a refreshing and unexpected twist. For these advocates, pineapple pizza represented a culinary adventure and a celebration of personal taste preferences. Believe it or not, according to a survey conducted in 2020, pineapple was the third most popular pizza topping in Japan and the eighth most popular in the UK. While the controversy surrounding pineapple pizza raged on, its influence continued to spread across the globe. But how did all this mess start? Time to uncover the truth. All this turmoil was set in motion in a little town in Canada. Hard to believe, right? The man who invented pineapple pizza, Sam Panopoulos, in the year 1954, said goodbye to his homeland Greece and hopped on a boat headed for the great unknown, Canada. It was a big, daring leap, but little did he know that he was about to change the pizza world forever. Now let's take a little detour on this journey. On the way to Canada, the boat made a pit stop at a place that all pizza lovers hold dear, Naples, Italy. Here's the thing, Naples isn't just any city, it's like the mama of all pizzas, the place where our beloved dish was first made. But don't be fooled, pizza isn't as old as the dinosaurs. Nope, it was only baked for the first time in 1889 to impress some important Italian folks, King Umberto and Princess Margarita, who were dropping by the city. And just like that, the tasty margarita pizza we all know and love was born. Now our guy Sam didn't have any idea about this historical pizza trivia. All he knew was that the pizza he got to eat in Naples was, in one word, delicious. When Sam finally set foot in Canada in 1954, he picked a cozy little town called Chatham to be his new home. The souvenir of the pizza taste haunted his sleep, and he decided with his brother, Nick Panopoulos, to open a restaurant named Satellite Restaurant. Located in a small Canadian town, the brothers were determined to make their mark on the local culinary scene and bring something exciting to the table. Soon enough, pizza made its grand entry in Ontario, Canada. But let's be honest, the pizza there was like a movie that had great actors but a terrible director. It just didn't catch on. Back then, pizza was a simple guy, says Panopoulos. It was just dough, sauce, cheese, and a choice of mushroom, bacon, or pepperoni. That was it. No frills, no fuss. You could pick one, two, or all three, but that's all the variety you got. But Sam, he was always itching to try something new. Something that would make his customers' taste buds dance. At one point, he even hired an Asian cook to whip up some American Chinese food. The exciting thing about Sam was he didn't fuss about any pizza traditions. He wasn't one to stick to the rule book. He was like an artist, throwing together a medley of ingredients to see what masterpiece he could create. He came up with ideas that other pizza pioneers also stumbled upon, like adding a dash of saltiness with toppings like olives and anchovies. But the idea of pineapple, that tropical fruit on a pizza? Now that was something else entirely. Sam, the culinary rebel, wasn't about to let rules dictate his innovative spirit. His restaurant, The Satellite, was already sending waves through the town with its Chinese offerings. An idea sparked in his mind. 
If folks have taken a liking to the sweet and sour dance and their Chinese food, why not give it a try on a pizza? So on an ordinary day in 1962, Sam grabbed a can of pineapple. He drained the juice, slicing through the can with the precision of a seasoned chef. The juicy chunks tumbled out, ready for their unexpected destiny. Sam sent them on a one-way voyage to top a pizza. People thought I'd been hit with a bout of madness, Sam chuckles, a twinkle in his eyes as he recalls the reactions. The result was a revelation, a harmonious medley of sweet and savory flavors that danced on his taste buds. For him, the sweetness of the pineapple perfectly complemented the tanginess of the tomato sauce and the richness of the cheese. The Panopolis brothers had unintentionally stumbled upon a flavor combination that would forever alter the pizza landscape. Ignoring the naysayers, he began advertising his eccentric new topping with the enthusiasm of a proud inventor showcasing his creation. Within the cozy ambiance of the satellite restaurant, the brothers unveiled their creation to their eager customers. The pineapple-topped pizza quickly became a sensation. Its unique blend of flavors struck a chord with the locals, who embraced the unconventional combination with open arms, or rather open mouths. To pay homage to the canned pineapples they used as a topping, the brothers decided to name their creation Hawaiian Pizza. The tropical name infused the dish with a sense of enchantment, painting mental pictures of sandy shores, towering palm trees, and beautiful beaches. So, do you believe in the sweet and sour dance on your pizza? Or are you firmly in the fruit-free camp? Wherever you stand in this ongoing pizza debate, let us know in the comment section below. Word of this new pizza variety spread like wildfire, drawing people from neighboring towns and cities to taste the intriguing creation. Hawaiian pizza became the talk of Ontario, captivating the palates of Canadians who had never experienced such a bold and unexpected flavor combination before. From Canada to America, from America to South America, from South America to Europe, from Europe to Africa, from Africa to Asia, and boom, pineapple pizza are now everywhere. Our beloved pizza pioneer, Sam Panopoulos, passed away on June 8, 2017. Though we lost the man behind the controversy, his legacy lives on. His brainchild, the Hawaiian pizza, continues to instigate passionate debates among pizza lovers worldwide. So the next time you bite into a slice, spare a thought for Sam, the audacious inventor who dared to invite pineapple to the pizza party. And there you have it, the tale of the pizza that divided the globe, Who'd have thought a can of pineapple in a curious mind could create such a culinary storm? But that's the beauty of food, right? It's a canvas for our creativity, a battleground for our taste buds, and a common thread that weaves us together, even in our disagreements. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on future video we upload. Stay tuned for more, and remember, whether you're a pineapple perpetrator or a naysayer, there's a pizza out there for everyone. So keep exploring, keep tasting, and most importantly, keep enjoying your food.